Come on, baby. Be good to me. That up pretty good. I don't know what this is. It doesn't feel overly big. I don't know. He's just oh, pretty small, Jew, I think. Yeah, there he is. Not big. Took a little bit, we got it done. Not a very big fish. The old full flex does it again. Bang on legal size there. So he's a good eating size fish. I'm gonna take that. Nothing wrong with uh, fishing for food. And uh, he, for a little fish, he has really uh, whacked that fork flex a long way down there. Oh, there's a bit of something he's been eating. I don't know what the heck that is. Some sort of fish. But have a look at that, he's really <coughs> swallowed that fork flex down pretty pretty good there we go the old wakasagi <coughs> all right there he is nice uh, legal dewy now i need to get this one to live well because literally school's underneath me right now so I'll quickly get this guy back in, into the live well and drop down and get another one, I think. Alright, time to uh, start burling with whatever old mate threw up just before. Uh. Oh. oh, there they are. Look up and there they are. Very good chance I'll hook up here. Although when you're distance off, you know, a couple of degrees each way and cast can be the difference between on them and off them, that's for sure. And they don't, uh, they won't chase after my plastic. I think the current's bringing that, that little back a bit further than what I'd like it to. We're 
on here. I reckon. I reckon we're a real good chance here. the hook that's no good important to uh, drop back down if you do drop one because usually the other ones will follow that fish so sometimes they'll follow it and another one behind it might pick it up hopefully it doesn't spook the school that that's a shame very good bite. It does look like the school have come underneath the boat. We'll see. Hopefully my plastic's not twisted up. Bugger. Oh well. Oh, plastic's not twisted, so. Alright, that's him on the right there. Let's see if that gets a bite. That should get a bite straight away. I think the school did come past me and went underneath the boat. If I bite on the drop then. Can't see him anymore. Twist the boat, see if we can see which way they're going. Like I said, the, <clears throat> the variation between the degree of angle on your cast is exacerbated as you get, you know, further away from the boat and also as you um, get deeper water too. So it can be tricky to pinpoint it from a long distance in deep water. Oh, I got it right again. Oh, what's this? Something small. This ain't no Jewy. Bugger. Oh, a tailor. It's interesting. Oh. Oh. Not a bad size tailor. I'd say these Jewies would love to eat this. If you're a live bait fisherman, you're popping that straight back down. It's just hanging on my plastic there. Nice little tailor. This is where the uh, four flexes come to their own, you know. Normally, another type of plastic, and that would be completely ruined. 
but um, that is still going to catch me another fish, I reckon. Let's spin it around the other way. There we go. Just pin that back through a bit. He's really done a number on it. Let's see if it's still swimming. Yeah, it still looks good to me. Wind's starting to drop off now, which is good. Sink lure, sink, 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 sink. Got them lined up perfectly. Come on, get down there. Length's good. Angle's good. Just got to get there. Come on. All right, we're in there. Come on, surely, surely. Surely. You kidding me? No way. No way. This time, come on, this time. What? Maybe I'm going too far. I'll try a shorter one. Green now. Not the slit. Let's get closer. All right, come on. Go, 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 go. Sitting there, this one. Oh. I have got a lot of drag on. Here 
is. Oh, magical looking dewy in the sun, that one, look at that, beautiful. to work for that one but uh, just had to get the distance right between the boat and the lure it's going probably a bit too far out thinking of 20 30 meters out and they're probably like 15 so once I adjusted my cast angle um, got a bite missed it and then hooked up and got him nice dew probably like 90 centimeters throw a brag mat on check it out all right well it's pretty close I called 90 and uh, we're looking at 91, so it's a centimetre off. You've seen this combo a couple of times, but that's, yeah, my Caden, Dobbins Caden 745, uh, Abu Garcia Revo Beast, I picked up from Scotty from, from Bayside, Bayside Bait and Tackle. Um, 50 pound castaway, and I've got a 50 pound FC 100 litre. I'm running a lot of drag, and that's why that fish didn't pull much at all. Um, and yeah, at the business end, we've got the uh, the Molex Fork Flex again. That one that the Taylor chewed up before, it's still going. It's probably getting towards the end of its life now. But um, yeah, that Fork Flex keeps on giving. Yeah, I think it's probably, you know, I think I'm straighten my jig head there anyway, so time for a new, new one. Well, I called for 90, 91 centimetre dew. Good size fish. Dropped him, damn it. That's different. Flat it on a jig. It's very different. That looks like another dinner to me. everyday capture on jigging 15 meters of water a flathead but uh, that's all right it'll become more of a smorgasbord stop flicking around come off
<laughs> These little uh, Maria panic baits go over the um, these Van Fook assist that one's a bit cooked but that one's still going JST 44s I really like these uh, assists because they're an extremely short cord so it keeps the hooks up near the head of the jig which it's supposed to unlike a lot of jigs that have got really long hooks that are you know down near the the bottom of the jig like like all like your plastic your jig heads you know the hooks near the head everything sort of eats the head first so makes sense to have the the hooks on a jig like you do on a plastic and everything else so that's why i go for these short cord uh jig hooks quite a strong big gape hook i think there it's a 2.0 i'm pretty sure on an 80 gram s slow blat all right another drift All right, that's me done for the day. A little bit hard work today. I got a couple of jewies there, lost a couple as well. Um, had a quick look for squid, but uh, the water's still a bit dirty out here, so wasn't any squid around. A lot of bait, a lot of big gar. Uh, had a little bit of play with these tuna, doing some weird stuff here in the shallows, which was pretty cool. Um, but beyond that, a uh, reasonable day, pretty slow, but look at the look at this weather. Um, can't complain when the when you've got weather like this this is just glorious windy got it on point today with the weather uh southwest this morning which is a little annoying and then just glassing right out into the afternoon so beautiful glorious winter weather let's hope we get some more of this um it's been really tough with the weather lately we've, we've had very few days where we could get out uh, and all that rain you know we've dirtied up the water cleans up dirties up so we're just we're just battling with the odds at the moment so Hopefully this is the end of it and um, we're on to some good weather, no more rain and um, some great fishing to be had. So, all right, I'm going to head home. I uh, hope you enjoyed. Cheers, guys. Catch ya.